everyone how are you so in this video i'm going to be giving you a walkthrough of the image of god series and this is the preschool level um who am i and the preschool has two different workbooks that you can get so this one that i have is workbook a but there is also workbook b the reason why i got just workbook a is because it says that workbook A is for three-year-olds and then workbook B is like for four-year-olds. It may not really matter or, you know, but I just decided to go ahead and get this one. Um, so then I also have here the teacher's manual. So I'm just going to walk through everything and show you what it looks like. Here it just tells you the authors and the editors, advisors. Okay, so um, in the content, I just want to read a few of the lessons for you just to give you an overview or, you know, I'm sure you guys can see what all that says. So if you want to pause it or whatever you want to do. But um, lesson one, there is one God, the Blessed Trinity. Lesson two, we see God in the worlds around us and creation scripture account is on creation i'm special to god who made me and scripture account is jesus and the children um and adam and eve attitudes actions and attitudes the ten commandments and so on so there are let me just fold it so you guys can see here there are 26 lessons and I had saw um, like one other person's video on this and she was saying that um, she was starting this series like in the beginning of the year and she didn't know how she was going to do it because um, it wasn't going to line up with the, um, you know, with the liturgical calendar, um, like it wouldn't line up together. But the thing is that at the the last couple lessons are Thanksgiving, then it goes to different weeks of Advent, Lent, Palm Sunday, Holy Week, and Easter. So if it doesn't, I don't think it really matters when you guys start this. Um, just if you're gonna, if you started it and now it's Advent, just flip to this lesson and do, you know, those different weeks of Advent. Or say you're only on lesson three, but now it's Easter Sunday. Well, just go ahead and do Easter Sunday. So... I just wanted to say that. <laughs> okay. And here is this giving you the scope and sequence. So this actually goes from preschool to eighth grade. And um, it says here, each of the seven topics are included in each grade. However, at each grade level, certain topics have been given special emphasis. So the special emphasis of this particular level, the preschool and the kindergarten, is God and creation. And the seven basic topics are God, creation, Christ, church, grace, sacraments, and commandments. So um, then it's just giving you some info about the, um, about how to do everything and about what it is. So the Who Am I Preschool Program is a Catholic religion curriculum for children ages three and four. Um, this curriculum is centered on an approach found in the writings and teachings of St. John Paul II. And then it says, this approach treasures the dignity of each individual as a person made in the image of God. The Who Am I curriculum has at its, as its emphasis two key truths of the faith, God, and creation. These key truths form the underlying element of the lessons. The material in each lesson revolves around fundamentals of our faith stated in terms the children can understand and remember and then it's just giving you some more information about um, the curriculum and it says here the many scripture accounts were taken from the revised standard version second catholic edition by ignatius press how to use it and the different um like parts of the lessons, lesson focus, lesson presentation, lesson explanation, um, living the lesson, celebration, and activities. And of course, I'm going to show you that as you go through it. And now this is basically telling you maybe how you would like to lay out the program. You want to do one day a week, three days a week. 
and then over here is just some quotes from the catechism okay so lesson one there is one god the blessed trinity and here is just telling you what the focus of the lesson is this is basically giving you um like as a teacher an overview and then these are just the correspondence to the catechism so we're in the catechism does it say all this here's some vocabulary and the concepts of the faith so vocabulary blessed trinity and what is mystery something we cannot fully understand concepts of faith how many god gods are there there is one and there are three persons in the one god father son and holy spirit what do we call the three persons in one God? We call three persons in one God, the Blessed Trinity. Then here has the proclamation and where in the catechism. So in one God, there are three persons. Okay, here is the um, explanation of the lessons and it's just basically telling you what's used in the lesson to explain it. So this particular lesson, they're going to, of course, use a shamrock and materials that are needed. And here are the review questions and answers. Now, this page here are from the workbook. So the different pages that are in the workbook so this is in workbook A, and then this is what workbook B will look like. So just show you guys the word. Oh, <laughs> I have something else. Okay, so that's just the page in the workbook. Connect the dots and color the picture. And then it has here, there are three persons in one God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And then here is the application, how to apply this lesson into everyday life. And this particular one, they're saying to uh, teach your child the glory be. And it's giving you a little bit of information about the glory be. And now there's some more review questions. And then this is another activity that you can do so again this is workbook a and this is workbook b so here in workbook a this is what the page will look like and you're supposed to cut out the pictures and put them in order and this is teaching them the sign of the cross and um you can definitely cut it out because you know this family note um it's pretty much like a shortened version of what is in the teacher's manual. This is just talking about what the lesson is, the concepts of faith, so some um, just the questions. We're in catechism and like um, this is just activity teaching them the glory be. So it's already in the teacher's manual. This is just like a quick overview of it that's in the um, workbook. And it says the same thing on the back of the first activity. Okay, so um, then at the end here, you have the celebration prayer. So have the children make the sign of the cross and pray the glory be. Obviously, you know, you're going to say it with them and help them out. And um, now there are some more things, some activities uh, that you can do with your child. So a shamrock project and tells you the materials that are going to be needed. A shamrock painting. So this is separate from... Um, the workbook just like if you guys want to keep going and doing a little bit more activities and this is the action rhyme which is pretty cool I actually I like the action rhyme I think it's so much fun it's just basically um, using like what are, what's that called when you do like a finger you know <laughs> finger like rhyme um, and it's just explaining the blessed trinity so I'm going to show you one more lesson just because it's a little bit different than the first lesson. Um, it's similar, but the first lesson was just set up differently. Um, so anyway, now we have lesson two, we see God in the world, around us, creation, lesson focus, the emphasis, um, then of course the catechism, vocabulary, concepts of faith, 
proclamation, explanation of the lesson. So this one, it tells you what you need, like an apple, any fruit with seeds, and you're gonna use that to uh, start to explain things to the children. And here's like another visual way of explaining. Um, so next show the children pictures of mountains, rivers, trees, and skies. And can you make any of the things you see in the picture? And it's going from there, review questions. Now the difference that was in lesson one and now is the scripture account. Um, so from what I can see, this is not a direct, like, directly from the bible it's just like this like a summarization or like a added emphasis on that particular those particular verses of the bible so that of course your children won't get it um you know it's just like children friendly but it is the account of it it's just you know like said in a way that it's for children <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I'm sorry. But it says, before God made the world, there was only darkness. Then God said, let there be light. He called the light day and the darkness night. God made the blue sky. He made all the waters of the lakes, rivers, and oceans. He put the water in some places and the dry land in other places. So like that. Okay, and then here's the review questions. The application and another activity have the child draw pictures of the things of which they are thankful and then work the page in workbook a versus workbook b and this is giving you the answers um and then the prayer activities to do And then uh, another workbook activity and then an action rhyme. So that's pretty much how it is laid out throughout uh, the entire curriculum. Um, I will say one more thing. Um, here you have in workbook A, there's this particular scripture account um from luke chapter 18 verses 15 and 17 but then workbook b is different so here it's talking about jesus and the children and here it's talking about adam and eve so um i just wanted to note that it's not exactly the same for each um workbook and that is just what the teacher's manual looks like each lesson is like color-coded Sorry if it's a little like out of frame. Okay, I guess you guys pretty much get it. Um, here at the back is the appendix. And these are all the prayers um, that, you know, prayers to know. I probably should zoom out but and these are the different um extra projects depending on like the lessons so that's just what that is here in the back and that's it for the teacher's manual and i'll just show you really fast the workbook so again, this is workbook A. I'm not gonna show the whole thing, I'm just showing like really fast. And so I'm connecting the dots. One side is the alphabet, one side is the numbers counting. So I think you guys get the gist. <laughs> 
and let me know if you guys have ever used this series with your children what you thought about it i um did kind of start a little bit i've just really did the action rhyme here with my daughter but i didn't really want to start too much because i wanted to show you guys it before we like start writing um, in the workbook and everything and if you guys would like to see a review of this once I'm done once we're done with it then please let me know and also let me know if you guys have used this yourself um, what you thought about it how'd you like it how did your children like it and if you guys want to see any um, more um, like Catholic homeschool walkthroughs also let me know and I'll be happy to do them thank you guys so much for watching god bless you